now. Wait, no. I guess I wouldn't actually do the job. Let's see. Thought I could just check it by seeing, you know, where I actually, you know, the number of fast travels I have, but I guess that's not going to cut it. Huh? My fast travel isn't listed in my resources? Oh well, unimportant. For right now, off to Boomer. Got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding. I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Mm. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No. No. Ah. Uh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom. Yeah, she's not all there. Spike arrow launches powerful projectiles that hit enemies at long range. Due to its long buildup, you have to s slow rate of fire. It cannot be used while jumping or crouching. Full draw in order to penetrate armor. What about a rope caster? But ropes don't explode. Whoa! And yet they did make explosive hey, rope casters. Hey, Red! How's a javelin throw treating you? Hope you're having a blast. Huh. It's not in my weapon wheel. Alright, so let's see. Attacking weapon classes, spike thrower. Most powerful and explosive ammo, but are less ideal for tearing off machine components. They are easy to use, but must be fully drawn in order to penetrate armor and to attack. While one of the strongest weapon types, their high ammo crafting cost makes them best suited for dealing high damage to larger machines. Blast plate, metal bones, and shards. Shock, hmm. Shock tripwire, javelin thrower, poison arrow. Hunter light arrows, regular light arrows. And of course, precision arrow. At least they give them all their own looks. Before, the only way you could tell what an arrow actually looked like is, if you, is when you drew it and you stopped for a minute to actually look at it. Built by Della and Boomer, this weapon can launch explosive spikes that detonate after a short delay. Spikes must be thrown and fully drawn to penetrate armor. And you go down there. 20 and 7... 20 piercing and 70 explosive. That's almost as much as one of my regular arrows. Let's see now. Three. Where's the explosion? Three blast plates. 
Three blast plates, three mineral bones, and ten shards. The ten shards I can deal with, but jeez. something on my face as I was saying I didn't even see her put it away all right so save that now for a dash of courage oh but first things first hmm now I got a new weapon ah no upgrades Let's see what we got. Jocaster, no. Spike holster? Shoot, I need fox eye for that. That looks like a Karja design. That looks just like the quiver that I keep on my hip. Oh, wait. Let's see. I'm not going to bother with the tripcaster, but this thing. Stars in the sky, if I'm gonna you if I'm gonna blow so much on it, metaphorically and literally, I want to make sure it is worth the investment. Alright, now that's fully upgraded. don't have any plain and simple damaging coils. Oh well, unimportant. Now, let's go see about that dash of courage. Then we will speak to the magistrate. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy. But I stood my ground, and dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. Huh. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Huh? Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. Your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see <laughs> you again. And I got a skill point, yay. But right now, back for that free meal? 
Go on, peruse my menu. So let's see what we got. Some of the stuff is pretty fit is pretty standard fare. Local stew, for example. The best part is that, like he said, on the house. So literally everything is free. So let's see. Simple meal prepared by tossing odds and ends of vegetables into a pot and simmering it for hours or herbs and spices. Beer brew boar. Simple but comforting also a meal of boar braised for several hours with spitfire ale and herbs. Accompanied by a large portion of fried bitter leaf. But as you can see, these increase concentration regained by three levels for three minutes. And restores 25% of your health and your stamina. Pot stump. Mashed root vegetables are mixed with boiled greens to make a simple awesome meal. Common choice after a long day on the road. Brew battered wedges. Eaten on its own or with grilled meat, this awesome dish is made by coating vegetable wedges in a batter made from brown ale. Made with brown ale, then deep frying it until golden and crispy. Sounds like potato wedges. Forged blackened sirloin seasoned with salt as large cut of meat is charred over blazing hot coals and served with seared greens. A favorite awesome outlander is looking for a taste of home. So it's a braised well-made steak and served with roast and served with roasted vegetables. Mm. Meat in the middle, hearty awesome meal made by wrapping dough around a skewer of ground wild meat and baked until golden brown. Sounds a bit like a calzone, but with no cheese. I don't think they have cheese in this world yet. Cheese, I think, was dis cheese. I believe, from memory serves, was discovered more by accident. The Middle Easterns were the first to come up with it. They put milk. They initially put camel and goat milk in urns and put it on camelback, and transported it throughout the day. The constant rocking back and forth and the heat from inside the urns caused it. To ferment, separate, and in turn, created in turn, caused it to separate, turning the turning the uh, the the. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend to know how cheap to know the exact all the terminology of cheese, uh, but that's the point. But these guys, as far as I can tell, don't even have don't even have like large cattle in this world yet. Demeter didn't get that far. I mean, heck, they don't even have large predators. The boars are, of course, responsible for keeping everything under wraps. Since, after all, they eat and are eaten. As I mean, they a, a wild pig eats as, is the predator as often as it's the prey. And then there's Mildoof's treat. I'm guessing this is, you know, his one of his special signatures. A special treat created by the cook of chains by the cooking chain scrape. Balls of dough are dropped in hot oil and fried until golden brown, then dipped in honey. One out of every batch is dusted with a spicy powder for a fiery surprise. Except if it's coated in, pow in red powder, somebody would notice it. Male skill advantage. Restore 75% health and stamina. Huh. These ones all seem to, you know, they give you restore fifty percent of your overall health and stamina, restore seventy five percent by two levels for three minutes. So this one increases your overall melee damage if you're ammo if you're running out of ammo. River Bloom Leaf Wild beans. Don't think I've seen wild beans at all. Hmm. Eastern beast rib. I think this is probably, I think the pot stump is probably what I would go for most. Returns health and stamina and gives you a little and gives you a health regain over time. Nope, scratch that. Nah, trap limit. I don't care about traps. At least not normally.
But I'm sorry, I won't have to worry about cooking for uh we'll find temporary benefit the skill boss, Miller's Mill reduced to your concentration time. Bring ingredients. Only only one food effect can be active at a time. It might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. Oh, see what else. Oh I see, this is a pig pen. That must be another signal tower. Oh, wait, the magistrate. Since I'm here, I want to talk to him too. Where is he? Ah! What the? Wait, I didn't use my food already, did I? See, Moldus Street. But then what the heck is healing me? One, don't call me Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all Vance bloviating. I <laughs> dealt with worse. Bloviating. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn. It's... <laughs> It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvind up. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Huh. He even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me mm. guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Hmm. Let's see. All right, take care of that, and then go see about these folks. Do 
That is quite a ways. Definitely want one of those chargers I saw out of town. Also give me a chance to use up some of this uh, some of this extra stuff I got going. Sister! Over here! Shut that machine down quick for a second, man. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. I was aiming for the resource pat for its resource pouch. Oh! And I just got a trophy for a hundred components torn. Where are you? Missed that blaze. I can use shock ammo. Anyway, what I was talking about before, I actually just managed to. I actually just got a trophy for a hundred, uh, a hundred components ripped off. Alright now. 
You used to have to, uh, that used to be a skill. Oh, nope. I already killed that pig. Mounted kill. Raccoon bone. Uh. <laughs> Quick save. I think I'm going to need a quick... Mounts. So, accelerate, brake. Mounted call. I need to fix that. Must be a signal tower up there. Huh. These guys are definitely Karja. To let this stain my hands. Too far. Ugh. Light. Better get down. This isn't a place for a machine. Huh, there's something up there. Down up here. <laughs> Takes more than that to keep me down. See, Alvin said no one could clear off the machine, but she did it. Written in precise Karja glyphs. My research regarding the crystals is more successful than anticipated. I have a quest to learn what green shine is and thus where it can be found. Through process of elimination, I see the green shine is not formed within rock. But on its is not formed within rock, but on its surface. The quarry and nearby mines have given me ample evidence. The notion that green shine is formed through the 
you know, intense pressure or temperature, therefore, is... See, I initially thought that perhaps... He said it was, like, blaze, but hard and shiny, so I thought perhaps it might have been created like a synthetic diamond. You know, put under put un put some put a liquid or even a gas under enough pressure, and it'll change from a liquid from a, from a gas to a liquid and a liquid to a solid. But that's not the case. Additionally, I've got a sufficient proof to denounce uh, see that green shine is a gift of the sun. <laughs> a car just saying religious idiocy. Ironic. It somehow springs into existence via green twilight flares. Rather, it's a cluster can be found. In locales of the sun, in locales the sun cannot reach, such as underground caverns, and therefore it's safe to assume that sunlight is no factor in formation. There does appear to be a correlation between greenish deposit and machine presence, however. The crystal is formed with side effect of canister leakage. Seems even more alluring. Stoneworkers seem to agree. They believe green shine is a hardened state of blaze, a substance that I must admit is similar visual properties. Devise an experiment whereby I attempt to transform blaze into green shine through artificial means. Acquire fireproof armor before testing begins. See, now that makes sense. Like I said, I thought it might be what happened when blaze is placed under significant pressure, but that isn't. But according to them, that's not the case. Hunting goods. So what do you sell? Oh, traps. And I'm not trading that for that. Workbench, don't have anything I want to work on. Hmm, there's something up there. I'm supposed to get up there. This must be how they get up the normal way. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Sun around here causing an explosion that just scared me. Flat out scared and startled me. Oh, I think I know what I'm hearing. Oh, 
I'll shake it out as I go. Ah, uh, wait, what is that? Medical water weed? Dead bristle back. Bristle back where the falls. Now check it out. Ugh, thank goodness it didn't fall in the water. This acid would have contaminated everything. Looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there? I better keep following the trail up. Ah, nothing. Corrugated metal here, so something. Like I said, when it comes to the little, when it comes to these smaller bows, the only thing that they do is increase the accuracy. It doesn't, doesn't matter how far you pull it back, it doesn't increase its power. Huh. Well, that's a bitter leaf around here. Oh! Another dead bristleback? Parts of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. But that should be impossible. There are only two people who know how to override a machine, as far as I know. Me I'm and Silence. And a lot of broken trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? How? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. That could be bad. The whole reason for Baron Light is to make sure that no one can get into uh, that no one can get into the Sundom without going through Baron Light, and thus they are able to control. And thus the cards are able to control who enters their territory from the Burden West. This would mean that there is a way. Into here that okay. they don't know about. Let's see where this leads. Huh, rough but well built. Pretty typical of uh, the old most car tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. Did that person back down there? Car tracks must have given way under it. So the bristlebacks were in here. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't think I can jump that, so it's down here. I hear squealing. There's smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? Your fungus can be struck to create a cloud that may obstruct vision. And I got both your tusks. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. And... <gasps> huh. There's another dead person back over here. This is the other side of the tracks. Hmm? What's down here? There is a lot of blaze around here. Reinforced wooden barrel can be blaze highly flammable. dead bristlebacks. There's a lot of smoke. It looks like the mine runs pretty far back. There's a lot of blaze down there. Blast a mountain open. And there's a load on all the barrels. Charcoal smudge record written by a rough hand. Sounds addressed to Ovind. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Hmm. It must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deep into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Shipping manifest. 24 barrels of blaze, 4 shovels, 3 hammers, and a keg of spitfire. Delivered in full 
at Spitzworn by Regard Tradesman. Getting hard to deliver your shipments quietly, Olvin. Ran into a carge patrol and wasted an hour heading to the northern mine just to throw them off my scent. Javad may be a chuff, but until you get your concessions signed, you can still shut down my trade, so if you want to keep blasting away at that scorched out mine, I'm happy to oblige, but my fees have just gone up. <laughs> really? Mounted tools, mounted call. And I think I just got... Yes! And what's this new resource I got? Nothing. In the meantime... Critical chance. Now then, real quick, I want to see... Seriously? I just want to see it go boom. Is that such a strange thing? All right, zoom, zoom. I wonder if they keep track of how far you travel on a machine. I remember back when I was playing Darksiders 2 for the first time, there was literally a trophy for like traveling so far on uh, Despair, Death's Horse. I wonder if they do the same thing. Get the quick save, and now... news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. Oh. No, you don't think. That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. Problem now is that we can't know until the embassy has been completed. Can't know that until we get out of here and into this area.
because obviously they had to come from somewhere around here. Now I'm telling you this, I'm get I honestly think it's about time for me to sit down and start making dinner. Because I'm hungry. So next time we pick up, we'll take care of the Twilight Path here. We'll see about these fellas. And I think there was something up here as well. Um, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going. So TTFN, tata for now, and I will see y'all next time.